Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Luke, otherwise known as Cool Hand Wiz, and today we are doing a very special series, or the startup of a new series, uh, that I've been looking forward to doing on my channel for a long time now. This series is something that, um, it's, it's called, I don't even have a title for it yet. It's gonna be, uh, I think, it's a Q&A slash shoutout series, so I was thinking maybe like Luke's Corner or Cool Hand's Hangout. But both of those sound so cheesy, so if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I I'm trying to also try and figure out how frequently I'm going to be doing this series, because originally I was planning on doing it once a month, but I got such an outpouring of suggestions of YouTubers that you guys feel, or even your own YouTube channel, that um, you feel could use an extra push with this series. So I'm actually thinking about maybe doing this once a week, but if you guys have any input or feedback on t in terms of that, let me know either in the comments or even just by giving this video a, a like or a thumbs up. That's a really good determinant for me. Uh, I I'm also going to go into depth since this is the first video in this series, how it's going to work. So the first part is going to be a Q&A where you guys can ask me questions. Uh, you can either ask me them on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, even on YouTube. Uh, I am pr primarily taking these questions, um, this video, from um, Twitter. Um, you can tweet me your questions using the hashtag AskCoolHand, and you could possibly see your question in the next video. Uh, and then the second part is going to be, of course, the YouTubers I'm shouting out. Uh, for each video, uh, I'm still working on the guidelines, but it's pretty much the basis is I'm going to be shouting out three YouTubers. These YouTubers are going to be at different sizes. Uh, the first YouTuber is going to be around or 100 subscribers or less. The second YouTuber is going to be between 100 and 500 subscribers or around that marker. And then the third YouTuber is going to be around 1,000 subscribers or 1,000 plus. So if you guys have any YouTubers you think um, could use an additional push using this uh, in this for this series, let me know in the comments or you can tweet them to me. Uh, I also don't really have any guidelines in terms of what I look for. Um, primarily, I'm looking for YouTubers that have been uploading consistently, uh, that um, have a couple videos up. Uh, I mean, by consistently, I mean, like, it doesn't even have to be once, uh, every, it doesn't have to be every day. I personally don't even upload every day. I upload, like, a couple times a week, uh, but I, I would definitely say at least once a week. I think that's it. Um, also, it's not really exactly a requirement, but... Uh, I definitely would strongly recommend you guys checking out these people's channels. I know uh, th <laughs> um, these people that I'm giving these shoutouts to are people that I have personally viewed their videos or watched their videos and think they upload great content. Uh, they um, are, work are hard workers and upload consistently and I think they could use your support. Uh, I really want to use this channel as a way to kind of give back to the YouTube community that has been so supportive of my channel, and especially in the last month or so. So without further ado, let's get to the questions. So the first question is from LoveMia20, and she asks, pizza or hot dog, ice cream or chips? Um, I guess that's a question. Um, I would probably say, def okay, for the first one, I would definitely say pizza. I think there isn't, uh, I would say almost every day I have pizza, which is probably not that great. Uh, I, I actually have recently, a couple years ago, found out how hot dogs are made, and that kind of makes me want to like stay away from them for at least a little while. Uh, and then in relation to the second part of the question, ice cream or chips, I would definitely have to say ice cream, especially cookies and cream ice cream, that's my favorite. Uh, and I don't really have chips that often, probably the, the chips I like the most are like barbecue chips. Um, but yeah, and then Lucy Goosey asks, can you do a backflip? <laughs> um, I can certainly try to, I think I would fail miserably, but, uh, I, I actually think maybe if there was anti, or if there was zero gravity, uh, I could probably do it really easy, but, <laughs> I probably, yeah, I probably shouldn't try. <laughs> and then Dysis asks, What's your top three games that you have played on your channel? This is a really good question. Uh, this one's also really hard. I would probably say, uh, probably first off, the Bioshock series that just started on my channel. I've been wanting to play that series for such a long time on here, and it's just finally that I've gotten around the t 
to the to it. Uh, it's also one of my favorite games, uh, one of the favorite, my, one of my most favorite games I've ever played. I just really like the atmosphere in the game. Uh, and then I'd probably also say uh, the Walking Dead series that I almost did. I think six months. I actually no, I think it actually is a year ago uh, that I did the Walking Dead series, and I really like that kind of story driven kind of game. And I had a lot of fun filming it. Um, and then I'd say the final one would probably definitely be my Minecraft series that I started my channel off with. Just because I gained so much in terms of experience of how YouTube works and then got to meet um, and create the f foundation of this community that, that I have. Uh, so I would definitely say those three. KM1998X Murphy asks, who is your favorite YouTuber? Huh. I don't really have a favorite YouTuber. I would probably say if I had to choose gaming-wise, I would probably say I as Cupquake or C Nanners, just because I've been watching them both for a very long time. And um, but I overall I don't really watch a lot of gaming channels, mostly because of the fact that I have a gaming channel of my own, and I'm always very afraid that. Um, I'll actually start watching something that I'll eventually start playing on my channel. Uh, and then um, I also, in my free time, mostly watch actually vlogging channels. Like I liked Kalel and Anthony's channel, uh, Watch Us Live and stuff. Uh, and now it's just Kalel's channel. And then I also liked, uh, I like Ollie White. Um, and then a few other vlogging channels. Um, so I would definitely say I'm more into those kinds of videos when I have some downtime. And then the last question is from jduani66, hopefully I said that right, uh, and he asks, who inspired you to get into YouTube? Also, I'm a new YouTuber, I would love to be in your video. Aww, well, <laughs> welcome and congrats on starting up your channel. Uh, I would definitely say I don't really have an inspiration, I, like I mentioned in my small YouTubers tag, uh, I really don't... Um, I, I kind of was inspired to make my channel just because of the fact that I really liked kind of interacting with people and then also um, really like playing video games. Uh, so I was like, the only difference is that I'm just talking to a microphone and to a camera, uh, which took a little while to get used to, I'm sure. Um, but uh, I don't really think there was anybody that inspired me. I mean, of course, if gaming related, I would definitely say, like I said uh, in the last question, Eyes Cup Week and C Nanos were probably somewhat of inspirations I guess you could call it. Uh, I, this channel or this series I actually was inspired to do because of a shout out that I got early on in my YouTube I guess you can call it career uh, and I never really forgot that and I always I want to try and find ways to kind of uh, spread like the support to other channels uh, but I wouldn't say I really had any inspiration uh, to create this channel originally. So the first person I want to give a shout out to is a guy named Grizzly Beard. I've been actually following Following his channel for a couple of weeks now and we've been talking on Twitter he's a really great guy and does a lot of different kinds of games primarily focusing I suppose in the role-playing genre uh, but um, offers a lot of variety in there and um, kind of I guess similar to my channel in a way but uh, he does a lot of videos related to RPG indie games which is kind of cool because as um, some of you guys know related um, I mentioned in my small youtubers tag that that's where I got my username and I really like playing role-playing games and I would so play some of the indie games that he has featured on his channel but in addition to that series he also does a uh uh, Fallout Let's Play and then he just finished actually a Fable uh, series on his channel and he actually is very consistent and I'm really surprised he actually doesn't have a larger following on his channel. So I really do recommend you guys check him out. The second person I would recommend to you guys is a guy named Some Gamer Dude, and I've actually been talking to him relatively recently. He actually does a lot of horror based or horror indie games on his channel and really does stress the importance of interaction interacting with your, uh, the people that follow your channel and the, the his community. He does a lot of live streams where he kind of interacts with people all the time and consistently and I think he uploads every day or almost every day. I personally like his actual vlogs that he does on his channel once in a while. I don't think he does them on a frequently a frequent basis uh, but it's kind of cool just learning on what's going on in his life and everything like that. Uh, and then finally the third person I would recommend to you guys is Roshank Redemption. He's actually the person that I kind of sort of got the idea 
idea of how I wanted to do this series and uploads three main series on his channel. He's actually been growing relatively fast recently and he does a Fallout series on his channel, of course does his own shoutout series and then finally does a Pokemon Let's Play, which is really cool. I haven't actually been keeping up to date on the Pokemon games, uh, and I think the last one was Fire Red that I played. So it's kind of cool kind of seeing what, what um, he's up to and always is trying to find ways to support other YouTubers, which I think is really, really cool. So if you guys have any suggestions uh, for who I should give shout outs to next, be sure to let me know in the comments. I would love to check them out. Um, I also, if you guys have any questions, be sure to tweet them to me using the hashtag CoolHand or Ask CoolHand. Um, and um, also, you can use other social media platforms to do that as well. So, if you guys enjoyed this and want to see more of this, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to check out all the channels. You can even tell them that I sent you um, if you want. Uh, I really would appreciate it. Um, I think all three of these really deserve these, this shout out. Um, but apart from that, I will be sure to check with you guys later. Adios.